the tanks began the advance. The militants of so-called Islamic State are cornered. Forces loyal to the Libyan unity government are now pounding their positions and are close to regaining control of them. The unity government forces have mobilized all their ability ready to retake the last two districts still under ISIS control. Islamic State hoped their headquarters in Sirte would provide a base to launch attacks into Europe. But now the extremists are about to be pushed out. The commander here tells me IS no longer have the manpower to hold the city. All the area in front of us is under IS control. You can see them from here. It's the districts number one and three. Within a few days, we will take over all this area by the help of God. But the fight isn't over yet. IS militants quickly reply with sniper fire and suicide bombs, stopping the advance. The military spokesman told us that they had expected these attacks, and he is confident with his men's progress. We are now in control of 75% of District 3, and IS fighters have retreated towards the coast. The fighting in District 1 is still intense, but we will not struggle to get the job done. The gains here have come at a price. On the day we visited this hospital, over 30 fighters were killed. And we watched as medical staff battled to treat almost 200 men. Even if IS are forced out of CERT, their threat continues. There is a strong feeling IS will regroup and return, causing more devastation in a struggling country with two governments and hundreds of militias competing for power. Firaz Kilani, BBC News, CERT.